Hi everyone, welcome back. So how do I instantly reschedule the scheduler appointments to some other time range? One such solution is to use the built-in editor window. But the more prominent and easiest way to deal with such appointment rescheduling is either you can drag them across the date range or else extend its start or end time by resizing its handlers. In this video, I will walk through the most interactive feature of React Scheduler which is drag and drop and resizing of appointments. So, I'll start to explain how to disable the drag and resize actions programmatically and how to control the scrolling speed while performing drag and resize actions across the edges of the scheduler. You will also learn how easier it is to set the drag and resize interval and finally how to auto navigate between the views while performing dragging action on schedule appointments. Now, I will open my existing application where the appointments are already added to the React Scheduler. As I've already explained about how to add React Scheduler with a local or remote data source, so you can refer to the Getting Started video to know the steps. And you can also find its reference link in the description part below. Alright, now I proceed to show you how to drag and resize the scheduler events. To start dragging and resizing the scheduler events, I need to import the drag and drop and resize modules from Synfusion EJ2 React Schedule package and inject the same into the scheduler component. Also, make sure to add ID values for scheduler events as it is a mandatory thing while performing any of the CRUD actions like resizing and dragging of appointments. So, within the data source property, I will ensure to define the ID field for all the event data. Look at the scheduler now. You can easily drag and drop the appointments anywhere within the scheduler. Also, you can extend the appointments time by resizing the start or end handlers. If suppose, I want to restrict the resize and dragging action programmatically through properties, then I can set the allow drag and drop and allow resizing option as false on the scheduler. So now, you can see the appointments in the scheduler where you cannot resize or drag them because I have disabled these actions programmatically by setting the allow drag and drop and allow resizing options. Okay, now I'm removing these two properties to continue with the other drag and drop and resizing options. Here, when you drag an appointment to the edges of the scheduler, you can see the scrolling action takes place automatically. Also, you can notice the same when you resize an appointment towards the edges of the scheduler. You can control the scrolling action, like you can modify the scrolling speed, delay, or even you can disable the scrolling actions while you perform both the dragging and resizing actions. Okay, now we'll proceed to show you the code snippet to achieve this. As a first step, I need to define the events drag start and resize start with its relevant handler functions. Here, I have defined on drag start and on resize start methods, and these two methods will receive the arguments of type drag event tags and resize event tags respectively. So, to access these argument types, I need to import drag event tags and resize event tags from Synfusion EJ2 React Schedule package. To control the scrolling action, first I need to import scroll options from Synfusion EJ2 React Schedule package. And within on drag start method, I need to define arcs.scroll.enable value as false. As well as within the on resize start method, I also need to define arcs.scroll.enable value as false. And now, look at the scheduler. While dragging the appointments to the edges, the scrolling action doesn't happen here. In the same way, if I try to resize the appointments towards the edges, again the scrolling action doesn't happen as these actions has been programmatically controlled within the drag start and resize start events. You can also control the scrolling speed of the event while performing the drag and resize actions in the scheduler. For this, I may need to set the scroll by option within the drag event tags and resize event tags. Now, I'm commenting on these enable options here and to control the speed of the scrolling action while dragging or resizing the events towards the edge of the scheduler, then I need to set the scroll by option with appropriate value. So here, you can notice when I drag the appointment to the edges of the scheduler, scrolling action takes place in a very fastest way with the provided scroll by value. Similarly, while resizing the appointments to the edges, the scroller reaches the bottom of the scheduler as soon as the appointment touches the edge of the scheduler. Okay, now we will show you how to change the drag and resize time interval while dragging or resizing an appointment on scheduler. By default, 
When I start to drag an appointment, it moves at an interval of 30 minutes. In the same way, when I resize an appointment, you can see it getting resized at an interval of 30 minutes. So, to change this default 30 minute time interval, I may need to define the arcs interval option with the custom values inside the on drag start method and on resize start method. So here, you can see the appointments that is created for the time range from 6 to 7 am and now, when I start to drag it, you can find the start time changing from 6 to 6 10. It is dragging at an interval of 10 minutes as I have set the arcs interval as 10. Similarly, when I resize the appointment, you can notice here the time interval getting changed from 7.10 to 7.20. In case, if you want to experience the free flow dragging and resizing of appointments, then you can simply set the arcs interval value as 1 so that you can drag the appointments in a free flow style as well as you can resize them in a free flow style. Now, let me proceed to show you how to drag an appointment from the date range in the current view to the date that presents in the previous or next view. For example, you can notice the current view displaying the date values between 5th May and 11th May. If suppose, if I want to drag this appointment from the current view to the date 15th May, I need to set arcs.navigation.enable option as true within the on drag start method as well as I need to import navigate options from Synfusion EJ2 React Schedule package. So now, when I drag an appointment and hold it at left extreme edges for few seconds, then the view auto navigates to the previous date ranges. If I drag the appointment and hold it at right extreme for few seconds, then it will move beyond the current date range on the scheduler. Finally, there is another interesting option available on React Scheduler which allows you to restrict the drag and drop action on specific target areas. For example, if you do not want to drop the appointments on all day cells, then you can exclude those targets to receive the dropped item by mentioning the target selectors to the exclude selector option of drag start event. For this, I need to define the arcs.exclude selectors option and assign it with the class name e all day cells. And now, when you try to drop the appointments to the all day row cells, you can notice that the appointment not getting dropped onto it. Similarly, you can give multiple target areas here separated by commas. Now, I have added the eWorkCells class name to the exclude selectors option so that you cannot drag and drop the appointment to any of the work cells. Finally, let me summarize some of the important points. We have seen the different customizable options available on both the drag and resize actions of scheduler events. Also, we have seen how to control the scrolling speed while dragging or resizing an appointment, how to exclude the drag and drop on specific target areas, how to drag and drop the appointment from date range in the current view to a date range in the previous or next views. Also, we have seen how to set different drag and resize time interval. In my next upcoming video, I will explain about how to drag and drop an external item into the React scheduler. If you find this video as useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.